Hello everybody, it's Tom with the SS Motion back here today with another Call of Duty Summer 2014 review. So today we are taking a look at the Ghost's Tactical Helicopter. This is set number 06858. It's for ages 12 and up and it has approximately 968 pieces. It is the largest set in the Call of Duty line so far. Definitely larger than the tank. And it is one of my favourite sets so far. So within the set we get the helicopter itself, which is modelled on the Sigorsky UH-60 Black Hawk. We get a care package, a repelling rope, three figures, and we also get Riley the dog. So this set is based off of Call of Duty Ghosts, as you can see from the figure selection. And the first figure we have here is Riley. So Riley has moving legs, both rear and forward, and a ball jointed head. And the nice thing about this figure is that his body armour is removable. As you can see. And then taking a look at the body armour, you can see the torso piece with the camera which just pegs onto a peg on the top and then you can also see the neck protector if we place this back on him for you guys quickly it is quite difficult sometimes working on which way the armour goes back on, but eventually you'll get there. And it is quite a tough fit at times. But I think I've put that back on right, I'm not too sure. Let me just double check. Ah, I have actually put his body armour back on backwards. I've not done that one before. So if you give me a minute to just peel this off for you. Sorry about this guys, there you go, that is Riley. So the next figure we get is, as stated on the box, Captain Elias Walker. So we all originally thought this was going to be Logan, no it is actually his father Elias. very nice mask sculpt and the figure comes with a metallic blue tack vest a metallic blue backpack a metallic grey style strap on the leg two blue metallic ammo pouches a concussion grenade and I have given him a pouch on the back and the figure in question includes a suppressed black and grey mp5 style weapon as you can see there so that's Elias we get another one of the walkers in this set we get Hesh Walker or more specifically Sergeant David Hesh Walker seen here with the nice beanie hat knife on a black strap two greeny grey style ammo pouches on the torso Elias has just fallen over and he includes a white and grey let's give that a minute to focus MC, M4 and the last figure we get is a pilot not a named figure but a pilot for the helicopter Comes in green pants and a white top, tan vest, green ammo pouch, black strap silver knife, nice head sculpt only other seen in the attack chopper and the jungle troopers, and a silver sidearm. So that's it for the figures, we get quite a nice assortment. Moving on to the accessories, 
we see a red care package in this set with grey highlights very nice and we get an assortment of accessories included including ammo clips a pair of wire cutters binoculars, a torch, a shovel and more so that's very nice and as well as that we get in this set a repelling rope but we get a red one as seen here now I've got the clips from the other set as well on here it does only come with one set of the clips but I put another one on for a display scene I made earlier and yeah so that is mainly it for the accessories and the figures now moving on to the helicopter itself if we adjust the tripod to get a look at it there you can see the helicopter modelled upon a black hawk now one interesting thing to note before we get into it is within Call of Duty black hawks appear in most games I mean you see them in the futuristic games too just slightly enhanced and it is really a staple of military technology which is quite awesome that we've got one um, and the interesting version about this one is this is the variant that has the side wings attached as you can see here and this is a life buoy which allows the helicopter to hover in water I believe and it also has some missiles attached now that's interesting because the only variant we see in Call of Duty as far as I'm aware and feel free to comment and correct me if I'm wrong because I'm not entirely sure but as far as I recall the only variant we ever see in game is the transport variant which does not have these wings so that's quite interesting but I'm glad that Mega have actually added it as it adds a lot more definition to the vehicle now if we take a look at it from front on you can see a lot of nice work has gone into this we've got a printed ghosts logo here the missiles and boy become more visible and you get a look at the inside if we take a look from the side you can see a lot of nice detailing the troop bay printed US flags and the rear the top again a lot of nice detailing and now for the inside well what we'll do actually is we can work over the features on the exterior first and then take a look at the inside so firstly we have spinning propellers which is very cool we then moving to the back have single adjustable landing wheel an adjustable rear fin and if we spin it round a spinning rear propeller which is quite cool as it's mounted at an angle which is pretty nice as well as that we have troop bay access and just a lot of nice details I mean details like this here on the side here and here really help to make it a nice set so in order to access the inside we do not just remove one section we actually remove the whole of the roof I will give you a look at that as you can see a lot of nice detailing work some engine intakes lighting glass which covers the rooftop of the cockpit and a lot of nice details so now we're going to take a look at the interior of the set you have two seats at the front of the cockpit along with some control consoles and a joystick then moving further down we have a lot of open space leading through to the troop bay then at the rear we have two seats with hooks and we also have a nice weapons rack which is really cool and something to note is throughout we have these little in trays where you can put little weapons and accessories in and we also have two of these little in trays in the cockpit I have a side for putting handguns in which is very cool so there's not too much detail within the interior I mean there's nice seating and I think the touch of the weapons rack at the back is very nice but overall it allows you to basically fit a lot of figures in there which is what you want because the Black Hawk is primarily a transport vehicle it's used to transport troops into combat particularly within the US military and other forces I know a lot of SWAT departments use this 
and it just generally matches the purpose you want very nicely. I mean, there's plenty of room to display figures. You can easily fit these three figures in there with plenty of space. Just stand them back up for you quickly. And it just generally captures the look of the UH-60 Black Hawk very well. And it's very, very faithful to the real life design. And also the design that appears in game to some extent. So, how much did I pay for this set? Well, this set usually retails for £80, but I managed to get it for 60 as it was 25% off in the entertainment. Now that in itself is an awesome price that I'm really, really happy with. So just giving you another quick look at this. We'll zoom in for you briefly. You can see a lot of nice details throughout. And Mega are really making use of their parts catalogue to give us a very nice, smooth looking, sleek build. Then onto the figures again, if we move that out of the way. Again, a very nice assortment of figures to go with an awesome set. So that's it for this review of the Ghost Tactical Helicopter guys. I've had a lot of fun building this set, and it is definitely my favourite Call of Duty set so far. I definitely recommend it as it's reliable to its base model, and it's just generally a heck of a lot of fun. If you see it, buy it. So this has been another review with us here at the SS Motion. I hope you've enjoyed it, guys. It's been a pleasure bringing you all the Call of Duty content so far, and I look forward to more in the future. With Advanced Warfare coming out in November, we're certain to see some pretty awesome things from Megablocks, and I can't wait. Until the next time, guys, this has been Tom with the SS Motion signing off. Have a great week.